The defense has rested in the case of two faith healing parents charged with manslaughter in the death of their newborn son. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. KTU's Tom Jensen's been covering this story since David Hickman died two years ago today. Now, Tom, some of the testimony in this case has really put the followers of Christ Church on trial with its own members. It has. There has been a rift in the church over this one issue for decades. The main reason former members tell me they left the church, they were tired of watching kids die and the pray and never call the doctor doctrine that has been the trademark of this church. Testimony by David Hickman's grandmother in this trial has reignited that fight because of her position in the church. Followers of Christ Church members leave the Clackamas County Courthouse showing their support for Dale and Shannon Hickman. The two stood fast to their beliefs in prayer over modern medicine, a basic tenet of the followers of Christ Church. They followed their faith, they said, even after they knew their baby boy could be dying less than nine hours after he was born. Why did you not call 911 at that moment? Because I was anointing him. It's God's will, whatever happens. He has the power to to um, help you deliver a healthy baby at 35 weeks. But many of the followers are now questioning their faith after hearing from the church's matriarchal leader, Karen White, who testified a week ago. My Bible, my Jesus Christ, tells me to put my faith and trust in him. I don't put limitations on God. White is married to Walter White, Jr., the grandson of Followers of Christ founder, Walter White. While she testified she would never call a doctor for her dying grandson, she admitted she went to a doctor for an exam to get birth control pills. I tried to talk with White and a church midwife about the issue outside the courthouse. Why is it okay for you to go to the doctor to get birth control but then not help your grandson when he was in such no a comment. bad state? I have no comment. I mean, isn't that a kind of contrary to what the teachings in the Bible? I mean, preventing birth but then not helping a baby no to comment. live? I have no comment. Current and former church members tell me a major rift is brewing within the church over that question. Why was it okay to prevent a birth with medical help one day and on another day let a baby die when a doctor could have saved him? But has been the case with all questions about this church. Doesn't that sound contrary to the Bible? Most followers and their family members refuse to answer questions outside the courtroom. You also have to wonder if the prosecution won't point out Karen White's admission repeatedly in closing arguments Wednesday. Shannon Hickman's attorney may also argue that Karen White and Shannon had no voice in any of these matters, and that's because the church has always been run by men, and they also preach that in the household, the, husband word, the husband's word is always the final word on every single issue. Tom, this is a very tight-knit community, and they don't talk to the media. Do we know why they never make any comment outside the court? We don't know if their lawyers told them not to talk or if it's just something within the church, but it has been that way. And Steve, you'll probably remember this. Mm -hmm. Even when this issue came up in, in the 1990s, church members weren't talking beyond the, the point of saying, we believe in God. Nothing has changed since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm.